Hello, beautiful. Welcome to The Prosperous Game. So where's the money in your coaching business? Is it in your niche, your specificity, your messaging, the value of the offer, the quality of the clients that you're working with? Where is the money in your coaching business? Drop in the comments below where you believe the profit is in your business, where the highest impact and value show up in your coaching business. When I'm working with women coaches in God Made Women Millionaires, one of the questions that consistently comes up that sabotages value, sabotages recognizing the power of the offer and definitely kills any safety, any yes in a natural high ticket sales conversation is this one. Me, me, but everyone else is doing what I'm doing. So how can they charge $25,000 for their offer and I charge $250,000? Won't the client just choose them? What makes my offer different, so different, that I get to charge the lifetime future value for it, stand in the conviction of the results we co-create together and say the investment to work with me is $250,000 without blinking or throwing up. Here's the thing, your prosperous group is AI proof. It's the only thing in the world that is AI proof. It's the only thing in the world that no one else has. When I work with clients, I notice that the clients who come to me have similar skills. They have similar certifications, similar trainings. But what makes them different is not just the life experience and the quality of the work they bring to their offer. It's how they see the world. It's their window to the high-end coaching client's soul. How you reframe the desire, the problem, the challenge, the opportunity for your client in a way that supports her to see that the thing that she wanted all her life, whether it's a baby, a husband, a, a new career, a business, a million dollars, that that thing is available to her now because of the way that you see the problem and the way that you understand the problem and the way that you frame it for her to shift her perspective. No one else can see the thing the way that you do. No one else can interpret the thing the way that you do. And no one else says it the way that you say it. And that is your prosperous womb. That is the value that you bring with you to the offer. And here's the thing. It is the number one thing that we as women coaches discount the most. And the thing that you discount the most in your coaching business is the thing that your client places the premium value on. Because for the first time in her life, she sees that it's available to her now. And this is what creates a natural high ticket sales conversation. This is why you don't need a script. Because she comes in sold on the idea that for the first time, she gets to do the thing. And your window to the way you see the thing becomes how she frames the answer, the solution to her challenge. The thing is, when you do that, she is a clear soul yes, unless you sabotage yourself in the sales conversation. And the way that you see her problem, the way that you see the challenge of desire is what comes out in your messaging. Your entire messaging is the framework for her solution. Your entire framework or system is the framework for her solution to the challenge or the opportunity or the desire. So when she sees that, she recognizes herself in the result and she cannot not say yes to herself. She sells herself into the high ticket coaching offer during the natural high ticket sales conversation. She comes to you for that value, not how much time she's gonna spend with you. So my invitation to you is to shift the way you see your offer from it's gonna take us six months to do this, so it should be $10,000, or it's gonna take us 90 days to do this. No, it's what is the value 
of this based on the way that I see it and how she sees that solution in my framework and what that means to her. It's never about you. You can discount your value all you want, but don't pretend that your client doesn't see the worth of the outcome or result that you offer. When you start to see yourself and the work that you do and the result that you have, the way your client sees you, the way God sees you, you will charge the value of your work. When you undercharge, the client thinks something is wrong with that offer and they don't buy it. They say no, simply because it's underneath the value they have assigned to your work. Let me know how this lands for you. It's been good having you.